Okay, in this video, I'm going over page 187, uh, the first five problems in the chapter four test review. So let's get started. Kendra has four necklaces, seven bracelets, and five rings. Draw a model to show the ratio that compares rings to bracelets. So notice it doesn't mention the necklaces at all. So this is just information that we don't need right now. Okay, so don't get distracted by that. What they want us to do is compare rings and bracelets. Okay, so and uh, notice it does mention the rings first. So we want to uh, draw the rings on top or first. So let's draw a model. Okay, so I'm going to have five rings. And um, Particularly if you're making your model like this, you probably want to label it. So I'm going to put an R in each one of these for rings. And I may even want to do a little key, R equals rings. This just makes it very clear to whoever is looking at this what you mean. Okay, because rings and bracelets are going to look very similar. And then I want my seven bracelets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to put a little B inside each of these to represent bracelets. And I'm going to put that on my key that the B means bracelets. Again, this just makes it very clear to whoever is looking at it that you completely understand how to solve this problem um, and that you're showing the, the person looking at this that what represents what and that you understand what represents what. Okay, number two, three girls and two boys are taking swimming lessons. Write the ratio that compares girls taking swimming lessons to total. So we want girls to total. Okay, so girls are three, and that's what we list first because that's what it mentions first. To total, total would be girls and boys. Girls and plus is a, and is a word that clues you to add. Girls and boys gives you a total of five. So three to five would be that ratio. Girls to total. So make sure you're reading these questions carefully. Okay, number three. Lewis adds three strawberries for every two blueberries. Draw a model that shows the ratio that compares strawberries to blueberries. Strawberries to blueberries. So again, this is going to be very similar to number one. So again, uh, strawberries first. And I'm going to put an S inside those for strawberries. I'm going to make my key that S stands for strawberries. I just want to make it clear that I know what I'm talking about and that I'm making that uh, clear to anyone that looks at this problem. The S equals the strawberries. And then to two blueberries. I'm going to put a B inside there for blueberries and I'm going to label it. Okay, next one, write the ratio 3 to 10 in two different ways. So they wrote it using the word 2, so I can write it with the colon, 3 to 10, and I can write it as a fraction. Okay, number 5, Alex text takes 3 steps for every 5 feet he walks. As Alex continues walking, he takes more steps and walks a longer distance. Complete the table by writing two equivalent ratios. Okay, so he takes three steps, he's gone five feet. If he takes another three steps, that's six steps. He'll have gone another five feet, so that's going to be ten feet. If he takes another three steps, now we're up to nine steps total. And then he takes another five, which takes him another five feet. So ten plus another five would be fifteen. And that's it for the first page. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.